what's up guys froler soup here and i'm back with another video today i'm going to be showing you the the, the deliverance from racial goal set review so without further ado let's get started and you can't see nothing because i don't have it displayed yet but i'm gonna start with the mini figs so first we have batman a nice torso print if you can hear um background noise i'm sorry can't help it but anyway nice back printing I like the stuff the soft capes that um, figures come with now no Batman head face whatever and he does come with the original cowl and he does his weapon is a katana a silver katana all right Next, we have Ray Shao Ghoul or Ra Shao Ghoul, depending on who you ask. And you can clearly see his weapon is a gold katana, so let me take that off his hand. He does not have a soft cape, his cape is the old crinkly ones. But yeah, that's Ray Shao Ghoul. He has nice. Printing on his torso and nice printing on his back. Oh, focus. Alright. Nice printing on his back. And he does have secondary face. So I'll show you that. So that's like when he's old. But I'm using when he comes out the Lazarus pit, like his crazy face. Alright, so next we have Damian Wayne, who comes with a staff, a brown staff, and a katana. But I don't have the brown staff on me, but I did have the katana. So, yeah. He does come with the new um, cape. It's, it's not a soft cape. But it's not a crinkly cape either. It's like a mix between. I don't know what kind of material it is. But it is a short cape with spikes, which is new. Same old Robin torso and design. He does come with the hoodie this time, not a hair piece. And his second face is just a scared face. Alright, so now next we have is, well finally we have Talia Al Ghul. Alright, so yeah, she does have a secondary face and back, more back printing to be seen. And she comes with this weird weapon, I have no idea what it's called, so please tell me in the comments what it is called. Well, I have no idea what it's called. But that's her. Alright, so we're done with the minifigs. Now, time to move on to some stuff that came with the set. Like this Lazarus Pit. So, I'll show you an overview look. It has a sticker right here that shows, like, some of the Lazarus Pit splashing onto this. I don't know what it is. I guess it's a rock, but it's supposed to be saying like, like this is splashing on here. That's the bottom of it. Nice and stuff. That actually has an action feature. If you take your Ra's al Ghul fig and you place them like there, and if you hit it hard enough, he will actually like fling out. Like I said, if you hit it hard enough, there, like that. But yeah, that is the Lazarus Pit. Next, I'm going to next thing I'm going to show you is the Batman, the Bat Buggy. So yeah, this is the, these are real rubber tires, so it has good traction. The Bat logo, and it does have working stud shooters. If you can actually see, I can't 
can't actually get a good angle. But he does have, but it, it does have working stud shooters. So, as you can see, the two studs, there's a shot. It has nice sticker right here. It has one on each side. And it does have a bat logo sticker. And nice exhaust. And you can actually open the cockpit, which I'm showing you right now. You just clip over here. And it does have headlights. But you can put a minifigure in there, such as Batman, which I'm putting in right now. My camera won't focus. All right, and then I'll close it up, and then he'll drive and stop Reach Out Go from doing whatever he's doing. But now, finally, we have Reach Out Go's temple. I guess that's what it is. So let me move that stud. But yeah, time for his temple. Ah, uh, it's not that small, and it's not that big. It's like medium. So let me pick up my camera and give you a tour. So here we have the doors, which actually bust open if you if you um, take the buggy, batter it hard enough. This will just fall. Only this piece, not that piece. The fire just came out. So let me put it back on. But yeah, it's only connected by two studs, as you can see. And the doors do actually open and close. I have, it's two clips right here. I just put a sword, because that's an extra sword that came with this. And there is an actual nicely, like, printed. That's not printed, that's a sticker, but it's nicely printed sticker. This made no sense. Now it says right here, I don't know if you can see, it says B plus T. I don't know if that means Bruce plus Talia or Batman plus Talia. You can leave in the comments which, what do you think? But it shows a picture on how to use the Lazarus pit. So it says like an old man, you're old, you go into the Lazarus pit, and then you come out like young and strong. And it has a little animal peeking out the hole, if you don't see. I don't know what that is. And it's a normal random scorpion sitting right there. Just doing that. And, and then you have a nice staircase leaning up up here with a axe. Let me actually reset because this is a feature. All you do is push right here. Just push it. And it does, the axe just shoots have it backwards but here is another feature so let me turn this around this is brown peg or axle actually makes this door it is not the best working feature but it's there as you can see it won't actually shoot out you gotta give it some force and stuff there you gotta like, like flick it, but the door will come out. It does open and close. And inside, you can actually fit a minifig, like Damian Wayne. They have him advertised in the box. He's supposed to just sit in there nice and quietly. And Batman is supposed to break him out. All right, so let me put that back on. So he's supposed to be in there, and the door's supposed to bust down somehow, like that. And then he's supposed to run out, I guess, and do whatever. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. But so please leave a like and subscribe if you already didn't. Froller Tube out.